It's concept soup here, otherwise known as the tech stud. That's me. Because I'm a stud and I do do tech tech videos. I'm talking about, you know, how I'm good with women. I get lots of ladies, they like to be near me because of my annual animal magnetism. No. Oh, I'll see yourself then. Joke's over. Joke is over. Today, this is going to be a talking head video, so you can look away from the video now. Nothing interesting is going to happen visually. We're just going to have a bit of a chat because I got a nice um, email from a viewer called Sam. It's not actually called Sam. I'm protecting his identity. But he says, hi, Jack, probably one of the stranger emails you received, blah, 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 blah. Uh, my name's Sam and I'm a business development manager for an e-commerce company. OK, interesting. I thought this was going to be an advert when I first read. I thought it's like, oh, do you need a business manager? It's like, no, no, thanks. Um, but he's saying he wants to start up his own PC business. Pretty much basically what I'm doing. Um, so he's asking for a bit of advice. Says he's really into PCs. He likes building his own PCs. And he thinks it'd be something he could get involved in. And he's just looking for base, some sort of general basic advice. Um, so we're going to go through that. That's going to be fun. Um, but I would be remiss if I did not mention our sponsor, which of course is my website, jcpccustoms.com, the best place to pick up your next gaming PC. So we've got pre-builds, but they are pre-builds with a difference. They're built by me and I know what I'm doing. I don't cut corners. I use optimized specification. Everything's going to work very nicely. It's basically, it's as if a PC expert has built your PC or as if you've built your own PC, but you don't have to worry about any of the technical support side of it. It's all easy, it all works. You don't have to worry about troubleshooting or anything like that. It's just guaranteed to work. Um, so that's jcpccustoms.com. We also do custom spec as well. So you just get in touch if you've got a precise specification that you want, we can accommodate. So add spot done. So, um, so I'm going to be talking to Sam during this video, but this is applicable advice to anyone that's wanting to get into the same sort of game that I'm in, PC building. I think it's a good idea if just let's go full disclosure here. So this is not my full time job. And frankly, that's because I don't make enough money for this to be my full time job doing this. And I want to tell you that up front because I think it's very important that this is not just a big, oh, let, let's get happy, let's get loads of cash in kind of thing, because it's not a big, big margin business, um, usually. I am studying medicine, so I'll be a doctor in about 18 months, right? That is my main focus. And this business, whilst I spend <laughs> probably too much time on it, um, it's not my main sort of driving path in life. So let's just, just bear that in mind as we go through, because um, perhaps some of the advice to me as a part-timer will be different to you if you want to do it full-time. Um, so I started out by doing Facebook Marketplace, used price to performance and a couple of new ones as well. And I sold them at cost price just as a proof of concept, um, just to see if anyone would be interested in buying PCs from somebody on Facebook Marketplace. And they were. And once I got a bit of success doing that, I then moved on to doing custom spec for people. Um, so I just did that again with Facebook Marketplace ads. And then over time, I built in other things like the website and the YouTube channel that you're watching now. Although the YouTube channel was more of a passion project and I just happened to sponsor the website, but there's a bit of crossover there. Um, I also set up Facebook adverts and that kind of thing as well. And basically just built it into a legitimate business over time. But the point of this video is saying, you know, what pearls of wisdom can I impart on somebody that's wanting to do a similar sort of thing? Um, and this is going to be just a very casual chatty video because there wasn't very many specific questions in there. But um, let's address what we do know already from what has been emailed in. So it says he already knows skills about customer service. Brilliant, because that is half, if not more, of the work that you need to do is customer service, chatting, communication skills, that kind of thing. Very important. So it's good that you've got that. Um, you've got building relationships with customers and suppliers. You've already got that. Again, that's probably another 20% of the business. So you're already doing really well. You've already got lots of really good skills um, and you already know about how to use Facebook ads, etc. Um, so that's really, really good. You know way more than I knew when I started this business. So you're in a much better position already because you're already in e-commerce. Um, so it's just, you know, asking for general advice. Um, so he asked about what kind of stock did I buy in? How did I start? So I said, yeah, started doing a bit of pre-built, moved into custom spec. And now my main focus is more on the pre-built. I also do custom spec quite a lot, but 
mainly um, the pre-built just because it's easier for me to manage in terms of like the time because I can do it whenever I want and you know there's not as much have back and forth with the customer you know getting quotes ready that kind of thing um, but either way you do it is really good so these have been my general bits of advice um, if you're planning to get into this and some of this Sam will you will already know and I'm not trying to teach you to suck eggs um, because I know you know about business but this might just increase the engagement for people that aren't business minded so um, when I started I just did it you know just as for like cash on the side so this would be called casual income technically um, and I didn't register for like tax or anything like that because I didn't need to um, but once you start once you start picking up traction you're legally obliged to start registering for things like tax VAT and all that kind of stuff and my advice is if you're going to set up a business just do it set up a business set up a limited company not in your own name set up a limited company get VAT registered get a business bank account get an accountant get relationships with all the different retailers and suppliers every single one that you buy anything from get a business or trade account with them because there's always going to be some kind of benefit to doing that so just get the bureaucracy sorted get all of that out of the way make sure you can accept different types of payment that kind of thing that's all the basic bureaucracy then you need to talk about your market so who are you going to target and I can't answer that question for you because it's going to completely depend on you I do a 50 50 split so half of it is applicable to the whole country but again the other half is I'm thinking about sort of the local person as well so I've got two ways of doing it so quite quite heavy emphasis on local and then a bit on national as well um, because you kind of need both if you want to make any kind of good money um, but the local is probably an easier market to crack when you're starting out so maybe that's somewhere that you want to start I did a lot of Facebook adverts particularly local Facebook adverts do really well for a very cheap price national Facebook adverts you need to spend a lot to get that same kind of return on your money so again when you're starting out local is quite good um, but that doesn't say that doesn't mean to say you should exclude um, national but it's just um, it's just quite nice to start local you get your feet on the ground and that kind of thing um, you need to make sure your website's good and you know that as an e-commerce business guy websites it's just got to be good like my website could do with improvement definitely but it's got a unique look and it shows you clearly what you're going to get which is more than I can say for a lot of websites out there at the moment even very large retailers have pretty rubbish navigation to get to their gaming PCs and even worse to try and sort things out and know what you're gonna buy um, so my websites okay it could do with improvement but as I said I do this as a part-time thing so it's not worth me spending heaps of time trying to get that website up to a sort of a better standard because it's just not worth it in terms of what I focus on now, as I said earlier, mainly pre built and custom spec, I sometimes sell components, but that, I wouldn't use components as a, as certainly when starting out, it's not a good idea because you're just not going to be competitive with other people. But what I do get a bit of success with on the um, single component side is just having good stock. So you see behind me, I've got loads of motherboards, like they're not for builds, I've just got them in there because. One angle is when somebody comes in for repair, you can replace the motherboard if it's broken. You've got them ready there, um, which is really handy. And then you can make a small profit on the component as well as the labor. Um, it's also really good just to have in case somebody might ring you up locally and go, oh, I need a motherboard today. Because most places you won't be able to get something on the same day now because everything's online. So having a bit of stock of a few different things actually means that, oh, yes, I do have that. But you're going to have to pay a little bit of a premium to get it on the same day. And you do often make a bit of extra money that way. Um, it's usually little things like somebody says, oh, I need 16 gigabytes of RAM um, and I need it today. And I say, oh, yeah, I've got 16 gigabytes of RAM. That would be 80 quid. Whereas that RAM actually cost me 65 quid. So I'm making a little bit of a profit there just by having extra stock lying around from the builds. So that's another angle you can come from. That's basically what I do with single parts. Um, with repairs, um, I don't actually spend any money advertising repairs but I do have a Google Maps page and having a good Google Maps page is so important for repairs you have absolutely no idea that is your one focus for repairs if you want to do repairs is good Google search ranking so in order to do this you need to have a Google My Business profile you need to post a lot on there so you, there's a posting function that you can post photos updates that kind of thing on there use it use it a lot because 
when Google sees you're using it, you get boosted up in the Google algorithm. They put you more towards the top. Make sure you're getting plenty of Google reviews as well. And again, that'll put you up towards the top. Photos puts you up towards the top. And the higher you go on the list, the more likely you're going to be the first person somebody calls about a repair. And that's why I get quite a lot of calls about repairs. Because if you live in sort of the South Wales, Cardiff area, if you type gaming PC into Google Maps... I am the first one that comes up on the list and that's just invaluable that gets you so many more eyeballs so that is one of my top tips is get good on local Google searching um, at the start you might have to pay for it to be sponsored but I don't pay Google any money so and I'm still at the top when you search for good gaming PC just because I've engaged with the algorithm you've got to sort of play ball with it Facebook on the other hand national ads very tough local ads very good I think I spoke about that earlier um, so yeah, I mean, I'm trying to think of anything, any other nuggets of advice I could give you, but just don't expect to make big profits when you start, particularly if you're going for a nationwide type thing. Um, you might just have to, you know, start by just selling at cost price just to get your name out there as one of the, oh, this guy does, you know, this, this, um, this company does really good, um, value gaming PCs, build up that customer base. Once the customers, you know, are satisfied with your service, you can s slowly start to creep the price up to get a little bit of a profit margin. And because you've got that strong base of, um, good reviews and word of mouth, you can start to get away with that margin. Whereas before, because you're unknown, no one's going to buy from you. Um, so yeah, uh, racking my brains to think of anything else I can give you. And I think I've drawn a complete blank. So I'm going to finish there. But if you've got any more specific questions, I'd love to hear them. Pop them down in the comments um, and I'll certainly help. But I just want to reiterate for a final time that this is part time for me. I'm not a business expert by any means. And you know a lot more about business than I do. So the only things I can offer you are specific to the PC space. Um, so that's really what it is and a lot of it is just marketing purely marketing because a lot of a lot of PCs are just built from the same parts so it's about marketing anyway ramble over see you in the next video um, I will be back to doing a PC build in the next video probably that's just my usual thing and subscribe like blah 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 YouTube stuff see you later